In the never-ending quest to find some of the best free software ever created, I've come up with five more free programs that are actually great. All the software I will show you is available on Windows, Linux, and Mac. As always, these programs are well-trusted and can perform many of the tasks of high-priced software. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is BleachBit, which is a free and open source disk cleaner, privacy manager, and can help to optimize your system. My preferred disk space cleaner used to be CCleaner, but you may have heard they've had some issues with hackers with more than 2 million infected. With BleachBit, you can delete cookies, free cache, clear internet history, delete logs and temporary files. Plus it can clean thousands of applications, including Google Chrome, Firefox, Adobe Flash, among others. Here's how you use it. First off, before making any major changes, it's always best to back up your system. By selecting options in the left pane, it'll show you what it does to the right. With Firefox, it says it'll delete backup files, delete web cache, delete cookies, and all sorts of other stuff. What I like is that it'll give you a warning if you're about to do something that could be detrimental. For example, when I select Firefox, the warning says that this option will delete your saved passwords. So I'll select Cancel. You'll notice by selecting Cancel that it left everything for Firefox checked except for passwords. Don't check anything in the left pane unless you're 100% sure that you know what you're doing. I'll check off some more stuff here. I'll do Flash and Google Chrome. Get that same warning here. I'll select Cancel. After you've made all your choices, select Preview. This will show you everything that BleachBit will delete. Shows here the disk space to be recovered is about 1.3 gigabytes. Now all you have to do is select Clean and you'll get a warning. Are you sure you want to permanently delete files according to the selected operations? If you're okay with that, select Delete. I won't do this now. There's a couple other things I want to show you. So I'll select Cancel. If you select Help, you have the options for release notes and system information. But if you select help contents and then hit okay, it will open a web page with links to view documentation, the official BleachBit forum, and you can watch video tutorials. BleachBit is available on Windows, Linux, and Mac. You can also get it for Blackberry and email servers. Next up is Banshee, which is an open source media player. The latest stable release was back in 2014, but I find that it still works great. It has a ton of features for sorting and organizing your music, videos, podcasts, and audiobook library. You can create playlists, listen to and rip audio CDs, and listen to and organize internet radio stations. Let's go take a look at Banshee. If you've ever used the old Windows Media Player or Media Monkey, Banshee has a similar look and feel. To import your media files, Head over to Media, select Import Media. From here, you have the options to import from local folders and files, Amazon MP3 purchases, and the iTunes Media Player. I'll select Local Folders, and then Choose Folders. I'll go find Pink Floyd and import them. So I'll select Pink Floyd, and then select Import. I find that it adds the media very quickly. Banshee is user friendly, so you should have no problem learning how to use it. Banshee is primarily for Linux users and is available for many of the Linux distros with a beta quality preview for Mac and an alpha quality preview for Windows. If you're looking for a new web browser to try out, Clix is a privacy focused web browser, which is a fork of Firefox. It has a built-in search which delivers faster results, it does not save any private data, and it has a built-in ad blocker. On their default home page, you'll have your favorites along with the top news at the bottom of the page. To add a new favorite, select the plus sign, enter in the address, then select add. I'm already a huge fan of their search feature, which is not unique to this browser, but appears to show top search results and website suggestions quicker than any other browser I've used. If you go to the Clicks Control Center to the right of the address bar, you have the option to turn on or off anti-tracking, the ad blocker, 
anti-phishing, along with prefer HTTPS, which can help to improve your level of security by forcing encrypted connections. I've recommended the Brave browser in the past. The Clix browser is a worthy alternative to Brave. Clix is available for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. They are no longer officially supporting Linux, but if you want to try out an internal build, I'll put a separate link in the description on how to install Clix for Linux. Next up is Kodi, which is a free and open source media player software. If you've ever used Plex, it shares some similarities. You can use Kodi to view media directly on your computer, or if you have a supported smart TV or streaming device that also has a Kodi app, it allows your PC to behave like a media server to be able to stream your movies, TV shows, music, and other media to those devices. What brings a lot of people to Kodi is the add-ons. There are several categories of add-ons for video or audio to stream internet content. They also have add-ons for skins to change the look and feel of Kodi, add-ons for weather, and so many more, which are all completely free. With so many add-ons, it's sometimes easier to do a search. I'll do a search for NBC. It looks like it has an add-on for NBC and the NBC Sports Network. After you install Kodi and first launch it, you may get overwhelmed. There are all these categories along the left-hand side that are empty, which you have to link to before it'll show up in the main window. You'll also want to go to the settings menu, which will have several categories for you to set up your preferences. If Kodi is something that interests you, there are hundreds of tutorials on YouTube for you to check out. Kodi is available for Windows, Linux, Mac, Android, iOS, and Raspberry Pi. This last one for you is LMMS. This one's not for everyone. It's made specifically for musicians. LMMS is a free and open source digital audio workstation for creating music. It comes bundled with an assortment of instrument and effect plugins. You can produce music by creating melodies and beats, synthesizing and mixing sounds, and so much more. When you're working on a project, this is what the overall layout will look like. And this is what the layout looks like when you're editing your music. If this is something that interests you, I'd recommend checking out their documentation section that has a lot of resources, including video tutorials. LMMS is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments if you use any free software that you feel is worthy of being mentioned in this series. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and bell notification icon for more from our free software series and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.